Hey everyone, and welcome to the game room, or rather, the game room office. I'm coming to you today because I've actually got a pickup video uh, that I wanted to share with everyone on the channel. Uh, recently, I I've got kind of strung out on the, I, I hesitate to use the word toxicity, of the United States uh, retro market. Uh, right now is kind of a bad time to collect if you're a collector, um, it's, it's become kind of more of a flipper's market. That's its own video. But uh, anyway, I've turned my eyes to Japan uh, and the retro market over there. And one avenue that I've used to do this outside of places like eBay is Surugaya. And Surugaya is kind of a, a specialty store in Japan uh, that carries anime, manga, uh, action figures, statues, uh, stuff like that. Really cool stuff uh, that I <laughs> have to be into quite a bit. Uh, but also uh, video games, like retro all the way up to the Switch. So uh, recently, it seems they've opened international shipping where I don't really have to go through a separate proxy service to order stuff from Japan. And surprise, surprise, uh, I received uh, a box today uh, that came. It shipped very, very quickly. Uh, and I've got uh, right here my my Sudogaya box. Uh, and I wanted to open it up. And this is kind of my birthday haul. Uh, my birthday was uh, last week. And uh, kind of share what I picked up. So I, I have not even opened this yet. Uh, I wanted to open it up uh, for the channel for this video, so I don't know the condition of, of how things came in uh, or anything like that. So uh, I'm going to open it up and see what we got. So be really careful here. Oh, I'm probably being overly cautious with it. But when you when you get shipped collectibles, and it's my first time, you know, I don't know. What's going to be in this? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This looks awesome. This looks awesome. It is It is shipped uh, very, very, very well. Uh, it, it is really well packed. And uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, the condition of some of these are, are much better than I was expecting. I, I'm honestly gushing uh, just how happy I am. So I'm going to very carefully <laughs> open this. Uh, and get the packaging aside and and start showing you what I picked up. This is so cool. This is just, oh wow. I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm honestly ecstatic. All right. So where do we start? Uh, let me move that aside. So the first game that I got was Super Donkey Kong. Uh, which is kind of hard. I don't have uh, the best light. Let me kind of get that there. There we go. Uh, Super Donkey Kong is Donkey Kong Country in Japan. And I am super excited uh, to have one. They should be completing the box. This is in such good condition too. I mean, the box really, really looks nice. And let me just... I can't help myself. I got to take a peek. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is this is complete. It's got the manual. Uh, wow, it's <laughs> just wow. The box is in really good shape. Uh, so very excited to play that. I saw uh, there's, it's really easy to mod a Super Nintendo to play Super Famicom games. It's really just two notches, uh, and a lot of games such as as this one, you really don't need to know uh, Japanese in order to play it. it it's Donkey Kong Country. Uh, you 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 can play this. Uh, but that is that is super super cool. I'm I'm really happy with that. Uh, another one I picked up uh, was Bahamut Lagoon, and I'll see if I can I can do that. There we go. Uh, Bahamut Lagoon is uh, an RPG that Square Enix, uh, then SquareSoft, uh, published. It's kind of a, a tactical battle system uh, with dragons, and, and the dragons grow up and. Um, I haven't played it much. I remember back when emulators were more of a scene, uh, when I was in high school, like late, late high school, uh, Super Nintendo emulators were big. I, I remember seeing ROMs of all these Japanese games that never came to the States and Bahamut Lagoon was one of those games. So, wow, this, this box looks brand new and I am very, very happy with it. The, the artwork is amazing and, and I can't wait to dig into it. Um, 
Pro tip, uh, for those of you that might have a Retron 5, uh, the Retron 5, though it's emulation and, uh, I mean, I could go into a whole thing about the source code for the emulator and, and, and everything with it, but uh, a nice thing about that is it plays translation patches. So if you've got uh, an import game that's in a language that, that you don't know, uh, the system will actually apply from the SD card uh, a translation patch. And so you'll be able to play that game in your native language. So really that, that was uh, the, the cool thing for the Retron for me uh, and what makes these RPGs uh, a little more accessible uh, to playing. Typically I prefer to play uh, on authentic hardware or uh, you know either through a CRT or through the RetroTINK uh, 2X. Uh, but Retron's really good for a translation patch. Let's see what, let's see what else we've got. We have got, it's got their, their little sticker, which I don't know how easy. Oh yeah, these peel right off. Oh, props to you, Suda guy. I love these no nonsense uh, stickers, but uh, I have got East 3, Wanderers from East. Uh, I'm, I'm a big East fan. Uh, I got into the series after watching a lot of YouTubers talking about it, so thank you. Uh, Game Sack and uh, Happy Console Gamer and others for uh, really enlightening me to this series. But uh, after playing Ease 8 on the Nintendo Switch, I, I was hooked. Uh, I was absolutely hooked on the series. And so I, I wanted to make an effort to uh, pick those up. And Ease 3, Wanders from Ease for the Super Famicom, is uh, my first retro Ease game. So uh, very excited to dig into this and uh, and get playing. Again, box looks like it's in really good shape. So very, very happy for that one. Uh, moving on, uh, I have got Fire Emblem, uh, Mystery of the Emblem uh, for Super Famicom. This was a remake of the original Famicom uh, Fire Emblem game. And I think, I, I can't be sure, but it you tell me in the comments or, or I'll play it. It might include the um, the second in in the store the Marth games, uh, which the name escapes me right now. But again, uh, really, really satisfied with the condition of the box uh, and how things are looking so far. And uh, again, I, I became a Fire Emblem fan, uh, you know, after Smash Brothers Melee. We we all got introduced to who these who's Roy and Marth uh, kind of thing, and I love that Nintendo. Uh, when they recently, temporarily, for whatever reason, re-released uh, the original Famicom Fire Emblem with an English translation for the Switch, uh, even the trailer kind of nodded to, like, who are these guys? But uh, since Fire Emblem Awakening, uh, I, I started to to get into it, and, and honestly, I've, I've also gone back to the old ones uh, and really enjoyed my time with it, so I'm, I'm super stoked uh, to have this one as well. Next, I've got Mickey's Magical Adventure. Uh, this was a Super Nintendo game that I remember them talking about in magazines. Uh, and I always wanted it, but I never got it. It looked interesting. It looked like a fun little platformer. Uh, and nowadays, trying to find a box complete uh, North American Super Nintendo copy, uh, you know, it's not terrible comparatively, but... You know, it, it's far more than I really want to pay, uh, but I, I really appreciate the artwork uh, and the manual and everything else uh, that comes with these. So I, I really wanted to uh, make sure that I, I got a copy like this. So uh, this really, I mean, it wasn't bad at all. Uh, I, I want to say maybe this was $7 uh, after the, the conversion, something like that, for a completed box copy of uh, Mickey's Magical Adventure. And again, really good shape. Really, really good shape. So very excited to have that. I can't wait to, to dig into it. Then uh, I got Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I love the art on this. I really, really love the art on these Super Famicom boxes. Uh, but this one, I, I really don't need to say much about. It's Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Uh, I think everyone has played this at this point. Um, and as far as Super Famicom compared to Super Nintendo, way less expensive for a Super Famicom complete in box than a North American Super Nintendo one for for this game. And what Japanese do you need to know to play it? It's Street Fighter 2. 
So really excited to have this finally uh, and, and start digging in and playing this. So this is one of those that I'll, I'll pull out frequently uh, to play with uh, family and friends. And last but not least, I'm going to move the box down, uh, is Dragon Quest... If I move it over here, that's probably better. Uh, Dragon Quest VI, if I can get the, the light, I'll probably overlay uh, some stuff here. Oh, sorry about my lighting. Uh, but I'm a big <laughs> Dragon Quest fan. I have been since the original Dragon Warrior on, uh, on NES, and that's only exploded from there. Uh, any Dragon Quest stuff, uh, I devour it just as much as I devour Final Fantasy at this point. Uh, so very, very excited to have this one. I have a loose copy of five, which I'll, I'll have to get complete in box later. This, the box is immaculate. Uh, this, this is just great. I love the uh, Akira Toriyama artwork on it. And yeah, wow, I'm <laughs> super excited. I cannot wait to start digging into these new games and I am beyond happy with the state that these arrived in. Uh, as, as well as how fast these shipped and, and just the whole experience. So uh, I'll put a link under the description uh, to Sudagaya's website for international shipping. They're currently shipping again to the United States uh, after the pandemic. So yeah, if you're looking for some amazing import games and not just Super Famicom, but uh, you know, Sega Saturn or Neo Geo CD or PC Engine, uh, really anything you could possibly want. Uh, definitely give them a check out. Uh, th this is definitely uh, a positive experience for me uh, and, and an endorsement for what that's worth. Uh, I will definitely be hitting up Sudugaya again. Uh, but this has been uh, a great birthday haul and a great kickoff to uh, import collecting from Japan. So uh, th these aren't my only imports, but uh, these are definitely my nicest uh, and most complete ones. Uh, aside from a couple handful that I've got. So anyway, <laughs> not not an ad, I promise you. <laughs> Sudo Guy isn't providing anything other than the service uh, that I'm paying for. But uh, hey, thank you so much for, for hanging out with me and checking out this pickup video. We will do more like this in the future if you like it. Good way to tell me you like it. Uh, hit that like button, comment down below. That's how I know. Otherwise, I'm just going to assume I talk to the ether. And if that's entertaining, then uh, that makes me happy. But anyway, have a good day. Thanks for hanging out in the game room. And I will see you next time.